Good afternoon, guys. I've been hearing different reports about the actual death rate on uh, the coronavirus. And I've heard numbers like 0.03%, and I've heard numbers 1.8% was one that seemed a little bit more legitimate. But I can tell you without question that those answers are absolutely wrong. I am about to prove it to you mathematically that the number that they're saying that is a death rate, but that's the number we were looking at just a while ago, 425,024. Now, let's pretend like the, the death rate was 2%. Well, that's 8,500. Well, they, well... That can't be right because we have more than that that are dead already. So let's try, hmm. I mean, I know the answer. I'm just toying with y'all. If it was 3%, there will only be 12,000 dead so far. Nope. So that can't be right. Four. Four is not enough. 4% death rate is not enough to account for the amount of deaths out of the cases that are currently there, although only 25% of the cases are closed. And let's try it one more time. I think this is about as close as I could get it. There you go. At 4.5% death rate so far, considering the total number of cases, even though only 25% of them are closed, that at least 4.4% of them have to die because they're already dead. It's, uh, this is, the numbers that they're telling you guys just aren't the numbers. And we'll look back at this again so you can see it. It, it's, it is a ridiculous thing to say that that the rate of death is lower than the deaths that are already counted inside the given number. So there you go, guys. It's, uh, and that's about the simplest way that I can disprove their death rate. As far as proving a true death rate, you can't. It's just an, it, until everything's said and done, you won't know. I like to compare the total number of deaths to the number of recoveries. And, of course, when the number of recoveries continue to climb, then then the rate of, of survival tends to climb, or will climb right along with it. Uh, China's numbers are an outlier here. If you subtract China's numbers away from uh, the total numbers uh, of recovered, and you take say you take 73 away from the 109, that's going to give you 36 thousand and then if you take the three thousand recovered from the eighteen thousand on the other side it leaves you with fifteen thousand over thirty six fifteen and some change so that's everybody's going to the party have a real good time dancing in the desert blowing up the sunshine